6G is coming. Faster speeds, new frequencies. Should we be concerned about health effects? Let's talk science, not fear. 6G uses the terahertz range between 0.1 and 10 terahertz. Here's what makes it unique. It's completely non-ionizing. Unlike X-rays, it cannot damage your DNA directly. But radiation is radiation, right? Not all radiation is equal. 6G waves are stopped cold by water. Your body is 70% water, making your skin the ultimate shield. These waves penetrate only 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters. That's thinner than a business card. Your brain, heart, organs, completely protected. So it's all surface level. Exactly. But there's a fascinating wrinkle. Your sweat ducts, these tiny coiled structures in your skin, can act like microscopic antennas at certain 6G frequencies. When you're stressed or exercising and sweating, they become conductive. Antennas in our skin? Nature's accident. It creates tiny localized interactions, small areas where energy absorption might spike slightly. It's not dangerous, but it means your body's sensitivity changes based on whether you're calm or active. What about the heat? That's the key. It's mostly thermal, gentle warming. But compare it to reality. A 6G phone might warm your skin by half a degree. Standing in sunlight, 3 degrees. Holding hot coffee, 8 degrees. The 6G effect is tiny. Bottom line. Current safety standards work. Keep reasonable distance from transmitters, and your body's natural water content does the rest. The physics protects you. Remember, God created you in that way so that physics could easy save you. Psst, psst. Hey, you. Truths like this are just the start. Subscribe to go deeper, like to unlock more, and share to pass the signal. The real stories only here on Marshmallow TV.